Hey guys, I just wanted to show you real quick something I got recently. So I got here, this came in the mail, or not in the mail, my uh, water jet guy hooked me up with a good deal on this thing. Uh, this is the last piece of the puzzle for tough knives. Uh, this is a e or an XLO vertical milling machine. This is basically a manual mill, which could be changed to, you know, have the computer guy sitting right there. Uh, to make it go automatic, but it's not like a CNC or anything. But uh, this is more than enough of what I need here. Um, this thing is awesome. I got a really good price on it. And uh thing is a beast. So I went from, this is the evolution here. Uh, I went from this crap, well, you know, not crap. You know, decent, decent doesn't do a proper hole, but it, it does do something. You know, it's not too bad. It, it worked for me for a while, a Harbor Freight guy. Then I moved up to what I thought was like the greatest machine ever in the history of the world, the Shop Fox, which is still holding up pretty damn good. Uh, I go very, very hard on the thing, and it still works great. As you see, this is how I buff stuff. Uh, I just use these on here. I keep a dirty one for the higher grits, and, the, and a nice clean one here for polishing off afterwards. Just gotta hold on to that shit, otherwise, uh, you know. And then move up to the Beast here, XLO. I think it's made in Canada. But uh, this thing is in damn good condition, actually, guys. I mean, if anybody knows anything about machinery, they know that, uh, you know, just, you know, the age doesn't really matter on these things. It's just, uh, yeah, they, this thing's been sitting in the shop for years and uh, just looks all gross. But you can see it's actually the coating of paint. I just put some acetone right here. It's actually just crap from other machines next to it. It's got like a nice coating on here. But, uh, Everything's in pretty much perfect condition on this guy, and you know, it's just uh, I cannot wait. I just need to get a vise and uh, the power supply to turn it on to convert it to 220 volt. Uh, but I have that all coming, uh, probably be here tomorrow or Tuesday. But uh, you know, this is precision here, guys. This is things I've thought about what I'm going to do with this thing so many times. You guys have no idea. I'm going to do some shit that's going to blow your mind. Uh, I could do all the stuff that I need to do now, blood grooves, you know, like different, like I do this, this, this similar thing to the spider hole because, I, you know, I can't do like the strider elongated hole, but with this thing I definitely can, so, yeah, so I just need to get a vise, uh, which I'm going to pick up tomorrow from the scrap uh, surplus yard or whatever, I know they got a couple there, so probably like hundreds, but, uh, yeah, guys, and this was a bitch. This thing weighs almost a ton, or, you know, a, a little over a ton. And uh, me and my buddy spent about four hours getting all these blocks yesterday because uh, we had this uh, little lift here, which does not lift. It moves. And I was, it was when we brought it in here, it was under there. And uh, so we couldn't lift it or, or lower it to get it out of there. So we basically had to pry up areas. But every time we'd pry up a corner, it was laying on the lift, so it would just move all sideways. It was a pain, guys. So getting it up on these blocks was not easy, and getting them off the blocks is not going to be easy either. So, but for right now, it's secure on there. Uh, but I'd like it to be on the ground, just uh, just less scary. So yeah, guys, there is going to be some crazy stuff coming out of here. I'm just so excited because this is like when I got my grinder, guys. I mean, that was a big deal, and this is also a big deal. I mean, this is like. This is like going from the Harbor Freight grinder, you know, to the Wilmot grinder. Whereas that would be the Harbor Freight drill press, even that one, to like, you know, the Wilmot mill, you know what I mean? So, this is some crazy stuff, and uh, there's no limits now. Everything that I've wanted to be able to do, that I try to do on my, you know, like milling out paramilitary scales and all that stuff, I mean, just stupidly the way I do it. Uh, will be a lot better on this thing so a lot more precision and uh, it's just gonna be great guys I cannot wait to get this thing up and running I have not seen it run I know it does uh, I know it's in good condition I got it from a trusted friend and it's just a beast so this thing is here and uh, I hope to never move for years because I don't want to move it again so awesome anyway guys thanks for watching have a good one peace